That was a gigantic win by UCF. 100th win for Gus Malzahn as a coach. And I'm going to throw him out there. I put this on Twitter. You can follow me in there at Mark Moses Show. I'm going to say it. Top five best wins in the history of the program. I'll start there, and here's why. When we were at the game and R.J. Harvey scored that touchdown, I thought about how long I've been here and talking about that program on this fine radio show where I think about I was here for 0-12. I was here when Scott Frost. I was here when they went undefeated and said they were the national champions. I was here when Mackenzie Milton got injured against South Florida on Black Friday in 18. I remember when they came back against Memphis and won that conference championship with Mac as the quarterback. I remember when they were in the bowl game against LSU and they hit Joe Burrow and then he turned into the best quarterback in college football. I was there. I was there when they announced they're going to the Big 12 and it took them years to build that up where they're finally playing Big 12. I was there at Baylor, the Baylor game, when they were up 35-10 to and then blew it. I watched the game against Oklahoma. That's what I thought about when R.J. Harvey scored that touchdown. All these moments to get to this point. Because you know what that win, you know what that win says? This team can compete at this level. It's one thing to say we're going to go play in the Big 12. It's another thing to go play in the conference. And they should have beaten Oklahoma. And they should have beaten Baylor. And I know they beat Cincinnati, but that doesn't count. They've played Cincinnati for years in the American. It's not a real Big 12 win. Maybe the record books will say it, but that was a big win. A big Big 12 win. There on Saturday. It was a gigantic moment for the program. We can compete at this level. And not only that, we're going to kick your teeth in. We're going to make it so you never want to come back here ever again. Because the point we made last week with my good friend Eric Lopez with Black and Gold Banneret was this. Teams think they can come to Florida, spend a week in Orlando, go to Disney World, enjoy our beaches, and then beat up UCF, get the W, and go back to their home state. Ah, not so fast in the words of Mr. Lee Corso. Uh, no. It's going to be hard to win at the bounce house. That's why I was so proud of the program. Top five. Like, there's some great wins. I think the Gasparilla win against the Gators, I think that needs to be up there. I think the win against South Florida in 2017 with Mike Hughes returns the kickoff for the game winner. I mean, that's up there. Uh, you know, Beating Gus Malzahn in Auburn in that Peach Bowl in Atlanta. That's another big one. Fiesta Bowl 2013 with Blake Bortles. I mean, gigantic wins. This is up there. It is. Because they proved it to themselves that they can compete at this level. Now, now, it's a win. You got to build upon it. If I'm just throwing out flowers as well, just all these different flowers, um, that's the best game by the quarterback, John Rice Plumley, since he's been here. And I've been very critical. But you know what? He had no problem being in those elements. And he threw the ball around. He made plays with his feet. That was his best win as a UCF quarterback. It really was. It was a great win. Gus Malzahn as well as the coach of UCF. He says it's his best win as the coach of UCF. I agree with him. It really was. That was a big one. And the number one thing I want to give a shout out to is, again, we're throwing out the flowers. Number one thing. I've never been prouder of that defense. I've been very critical of that defense. They came to play. They were ready. They were ready for that game plan of Oklahoma State. They were ready for that execution. Those players, the coach... They were ready for the Cowboys. They were ready. And you know what they did? They didn't give up a touchdown. They gave up one field goal. They almost shut out Oklahoma State, a ranked team. They were ready to play. And that is maybe one of the greatest defensive performances by that school ever. I'm not kidding around. That was phenomenal. The performance.